so throughout the value stream you're going to notice you know the uh, traditional as we call them three p's people process and products where products are tools and technologies and these three p's pretty much support your uh, uh, value stream end to end all right and with that in mind meaning that from a people perspective culture is going to be a critical success factor because now we are introducing a totally different way of work and therefore you know there, there's going to be a lot of you know uh, resistance a lot of shocks uh, uh, in the in the environment and you're going to deal with that you are also dependent and introducing you know a number of different processes where there will be a need to learn to evolve uh, some of them you may already have some of them you need to introduce whatever the case may be and of course automation especially where devops is concerned and we're going to see why in a second and one of the uh, the main aspect of the discussion uh, for automation here is going to be a topic we call you know tool chain and we're going to see this a little bit further as we move through the discussion but before you get into all of this you know uh, 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 all of these thoughts you really want to have a good solid understanding as to why you are doing this how you're going to do it and what products and services you're going to have to uh, 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 introduce in order to support that so this is not about your partner's why or about your uh, 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 your own personal why it's about you know as we call it the raison d'etre for the organization to exist their purpose their their belief their their their, their reasons of existence right and it is critical to really understand this before you move on because if you don't then it's going to be as an example maybe selling products instead of you know uh, providing services to the uh, 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 the, 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 the the client or to the partner and therefore you know at the end of the day this is not what they expected from you so very important to keep that in mind also devops and devops practices are going to help a great deal you know in increasing profitability market share and productivity and the reason is is because now we are working much faster than before we are sustaining business value you know through uh, uh, an end to end uh, uh, value stream that's going to enable us to deliver you know, uh, 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 frequent releases that actually answers to business outcome and or supports business outcome. So historically speaking, we have two schools of thoughts in every organization. If you take a look at uh, 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 the operational side, right, you're going to notice that they are very big on you know uh, 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 wanting to focus on the stability they don't want to shake the boat they want to make sure they don't have incidents and problems they don't have a whole lot of you know uh, uh, kind of uh, outages etc versus on the other hand where you have you know the business who wants to actually move on quickly fast there are a lot of changes there are a lot of you know is if, if the term is appropriate what we call evolvability and so on so these two have to balance each other otherwise you're going to end up with a conflict and this is the traditional discussion between the development team versus the operation uh, uh team and to bring to the to the mix the business needs and the business uh, 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 requirements. So this constitutes a challenge, right, for IT in general. And as a result of that, IT is now looking around for best ways of developing, of supporting, of enabling, right, and so on and so forth. So part of this whole discussion is that we want to make sure that the environment is agile and what i don't mean here agile 
in the same meaning of the, the framework. Here I, I mean agile in, in terms of the dictionary uh, term you know, of agility. Like in, in other words, the, 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 the business or the environment need to be dynamic, need to be able to maneuver quickly, right? Uh, break down your silos, uh, 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 improve your constraints, uh, make sure that we have a, a good, solid understanding that is across the organization, right? Uh, as an example. So now, you know, this agility eventually going to need to be supported by an approach, right? And that approach is what we call, you know, DevOps. So by now, you probably are familiar where DevOps came from, from development and operation. It, as a matter of fact, it, that, that started as a, as a hashtag and it stuck. And eventually, you know, it grew to what it is today, trying to bridge the gap from a cultural, from a functional, from an, an end-to-end uh, uh, stream type of considerations. So we don't want to work, you know, in a development environment by itself. We don't want to work in an operational environment by itself. We want to bridge the gap between these two, enable them to work collectively together and eventually to support and to enable the business so that we are all lined up and all or if, if a better term all in alignment otherwise as i mentioned the business is always looking for speed right where it is looking for you know stability and with that alone is not going to happen you know we need to be all in this you know in 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 it together in a sense and and devops will bring that to you